The Weird, Creepy, and Scary. Memes for I'm Dante. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chat, where's volume 100? Dante, are you gonna react to volume 100? No, chat. I reacted to all the other volumes just to not fucking react to volume 100. It'll come when it comes, man. Jesus. I feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes, ice cream, make like stars, stop them out, it's a man down, maybe my little custom PC getting fanned out, I'm not from the back, I'm from the H and we don't play around, catch him at a red light with a nerf we gon' spray him down. Been helping me get through this, thank you man, this isn't enough to show my thanks, but thank you, thank you. Hey man, I appreciate you, and thank you for your donation, dude, thank you for your donation, I'm glad I could be here and help you out, man, now... Let's watch this fucking creepy, weird, stupid shit and people having their microphones on their fucking mouth and shit, man. Memes for Andante presents Weird, Creepy, and Scary, Volume 10. Check out the Patreon. Guys, it was a it, it was a cold December Prank night time. night. <laughs> No, my wife got me last week, so I gotta get her back. I think this should do the trick. She's gonna be home any second now. Oh, choke. This shit is so loud, but I know it's loud intentionally, so I'll just keep it. I'll just keep the volume. Okay. Jesus Christ! Bro. All right, hold on. Nah, cause I don't got time for no loud ass music. I got you so good. I got you so good. Cuz you you did this last week and I said to get you back. I'm sorry. Oh, not cool. I didn't film that shit. Oh my god. Where are you going? I have to fucking pee. Oh my god. Come on. Don't be angry. Where are you? Chest that. Oh my god. Who is at the door this I'm sorry. It was terrible. That's fucked up. Hello? Okay. Hey, oh my god. Oh my god. What is wrong with you? Wait, how did you? Oh, you're so good. What do you, you already got? Wait. What are you talking about? How did you get back out here so fast? What do you mean? I just got home. Hang on a second. How did you get back to the home? Oh, it was on the Hey, what is happening? What is going on? What is going on? Hey, it's me. What? happening? It was good before the effects. In the 1800s, I liked it better before there was a the law effects. in Thailand that stated if any commoners touched a member of the Thai royal family, they would be punished with death. This law was strictly enforced, and there were no exceptions to the rule. It was a bruh. What kind of fucked up shit is this? Originally put in place to protect the royal family from anyone who might be trying to harm them, and to keep the royals from being touched by their filthy commoners. Yo, imagine she drops something. Oh, here you go. You like accidentally brush past her fing finger and they, they just fucking hang you. Everyone in the country, from the elderly to the toddlers, knew that they were not to touch royalty under any circumstances. Hey man, why they, why they black, bruh? But in May of 1880, this law would result in the death of man. two royal family members. As the it's so crazy how like as a whole society back then a whole collective of humans just looked at niggas and was like mm -mm, bow down nigga <laughs> bow down nigga like they just looked at they just looked at a, a, the different skin color was like Ew. <laughs> like like i still can't grasp my mind around that concept and the and that it still trinkles into today's society where people literally judge somebody instantly because the skin color their skin color and their hair texture it's just it's just weird to me man like you live in your life you traveling across the ocean and you see something that's not the same as you and like hold on a minute get that thing on a chain the queen and her young daughter were traveling to their vacation whatever man the boat flipped while crossing a river the queen and her daughter were thrown into water in front of hundreds of onlookers ah so in this situation, somebody who can swim, I can swim, save her, but I can't touch her. This is an exception, go. Nah, man, the law's the law, buddy. I could swim in there, but I can't touch her, bro. It's against the law. I'm sorry, dog, but you know, <laughs> I don't make the rules, bro. 
but before anyone could jump into the water to help, the royal guard stepped in and reminded them that touching the queen or her daughter would result in their own deaths. Wait. Wait, so they didn't even make an exception. They didn't even make an exception. Somebody save her, but just know you're fucked when you do it. So instead of rescuing the drowning royals, the entire crowd watched in horror as the queen, her princess, and the unborn baby all sunk to the bottom of the river and drowned. The king grew so angry after hearing the news of his family's demise that he had her guard members executed for not ordering a rescue. He would then go on to give his wife one of the most expensive funerals in the history of their kingdom, as well as a monument in the yard of the home the two were trying to visit when they perished. Wow. Why couldn't he help? Dude, keep up, man. Get your finger out your nose. Pay attention to the stream, man. It was law. They could not touch these people. If you touch them, they would kill you on sight. Photos taken right before disaster. Here are some photos taken right before disaster, part six. This is the last photo ever taken of Steve Irwin. Ah, come on, Steve man. Irwin was Don't do that to me, man. Famous Australian TV personality ever. Y'all seen his son, though? He was famous his for son his w to is a W man. Wild animals. Unfortunately for him, this particular stringer right here disagreed and stung him right in the chest with its tail. Ah, fuck him. Moments after this picture was taken, Steve actually ended up passing away. R.I.P. Legend. This is the last photo ever taken of Bud Doyer. I remember this. He shot himself, right? Uh, I think actually I actually saw the video the uncensored video I think he had like a gun in an envelope and like right at the end of whatever was happening. He just Did that shit this blacked out thing in his hand is a gun. Also. Did y'all see the thing about the guy? Uh, I think there was a guy that touched some some father's child or something and uh, Like right after I guess the hearing or even before the hearing or something They were like escorting him and there was like a news camera and the dad was at the telephone as soon as the guy walked by he turned around, pulled out the pulled out a gun and shot him right in the head, live on television. He was the treasurer of Pennsylvania between 1981 and 1987. After being accused of bribery and withholding taxes, he pulled out this gun on live television and shot himself right in the head in front of millions of people. That's actually insane. What the heck? I just experienced your worst nightmare. Trust me, this was super creepy, so let's check it out. Me and my friends were swimming in a local river in Mexico when we stumbled upon- I ain't gonna lie, dog. I already don't care, bruh. I already don't care. This random rock. Although it may look like- And can we stop with this stupid transition of fucking hitting the camera and going to the next place? Like, what the fuck is this shit? Normal rock, if you take a closer look, you might be surprised with what you find. But look how many spiders- And if you're gonna like do that, at least take out the sound of you actually making contact with the camera. Because then it just it's just weird nightmare. Trust me. This was super creepy. So let's check it out I mean, it's like that's just that's just weird like now It's like you actually hit the camera. It doesn't even I, I'm taken out of the concept of, of this I'm actually transitioning to another scene. No now I actually just see you as a man that was walking down the sidewalk and just smacked his fucking phone Experience your worst nightmare. Trust me. This was super creepy. So let's check it out Me and my friends were swimming in a local river in Mexico when we stumbled upon this random rock Although it may look like a normal rock if you take a closer look you might be surprised with what you find But look how many spiders there are One, one two Three, four, I know I didn't fucking like this bitch ass nigga, bro. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 35. This creature is known as a woolly monkey. And due to poachers and people trading and selling them illegally, there's only a thousand of these little guys left in the world. The uncanny valley is a phenomenon in which people become fearful at things that are very close to human but something isn't quite right. Throughout history, mummies actually weren't that rare. I've heard of that. Like, that shit's weird, it's it's creepy, but like, I don't have fucking nightmares about it. They were literally inanimate objects, just knock them the fuck over. That is, until the Victorian British ate so many of them. During the Arctic exploration, one of the scientists was complaining that his shoes were soaking wet. Later, when he took them off, he found this was because his feet were decaying and liquidized with his blood. A man once donated yeah. his recently deceased mother's body for scientific research. Later, he discovered that the research facility sold it to the US Army for five grand, strapped it to a chair, and blew it up with explosives. For what? Wait, for what? How does that even leak? 
1978, the popular game show known as The Dating Game would invite three guests on to compete for a chance to take Cheryl Bradshaw on a date. Cheryl it Bradshaw. wouldn't be until years later that they would realize contestant number one, Rodney Akala, was an active serial killer. What the fuck? What makes this story even more shocking is the fact that he won. Luckily, Cheryl would later turn down the date due to finding Rodney to be too creepy. Talk about trusting your gut. A bachelor number one. I am serving you for dinner. Oh. <laughs> what are you called and what do you look like? I'm called the banana and I look really good. <laughs> uh, can you be a little more descriptive? Peel me. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you should always sleep with your lights on. In 1991, a man named Christopher Case was found dead in his bathtub, fully clothed, in the fetal position. When police interviewed his best friend Sammy, she told them about a very disturbing phone call she Yo, Nadi, can't you think of I get this up? got from him the night before he died. On the call, he told her that the previous night, he had woken up to what sounded like whispering coming from underneath his bed. When he went to look, he couldn't move. As he laid helplessly, he watched a black figure pull itself out from underneath his bed. Once it was fully upright, it reached down and began choking him until he passed out. The next morning when he came to, he felt his neck and it was swollen and bruised. And then he saw blood on his hands and he saw that there were deep, uniform incisions on each of his fingertips. As he's saying all this to Sammy and telling her how scared he is to go to bed that night, he suddenly stops and he says, I hear whispering outside my room. Then the phone went dead. Worst Ways People Have Died, Part 26. During a Mozart Football Association match, the player knocked in a rebound. After Football! A off the yeah, we get, the I, we get on that chat. He attempted to front handspring, which he pulled off. But when he tried to do the backwards somersault, he landed on his face, which ended up breaking his back. The scariest places on earth and why you do not want to find yourself anywhere near them. And don't forget to check out my YouTube with the link in the- That's why people need to chill out, like, you know, chill out with them, them celebrations and them flips, bro. I was watching the A&P fucking, um, the A&P versus whoever they're- I think it was FaZe. And this nigga Duke gets a touchdown and does all these fucking flips. I'm like, dude, chill the fuck out, my guy. <laughs> chill the fuck out, dude. Bio. Stressing me out, man. It's a common attraction because the size of the falls are double that of Niagara. Plus this the guy, man, allows you to hang near the edge. But one too many people get a little too close every year and end up getting claimed by the falls, never to be seen again. Centralia, Pennsylvania, is a wasteland that has had an underground mine fire burning since the 1960s. Very few people dare to go here as the air is so toxic it can be lethal. In what's probably the creepiest, the village of Nagoro in western Japan oh became God, deserted. Really? So very few people are who remained. When you see the empty spaces oh my God, of the town this is with life incredible. sized I can't dolls. believe this. That is weird. Buzz it. Buzz it. Buzz. This is truly terrifying. Buzz it. Buzz it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to the house. This is from a movie. I know y'all see this. Okay, I was about to say. Huh? So they didn't just hear that nigga growl? On 26, 2013, 41-year-old Hugo Avalos Channon was cleaning an industrial meat blender for the Interstate Meat Distributors Company in Clackamas, Oregon, when he fell into the blender feet first. Oh no. His co-workers heard his screams of agony and raced to shut off the machine, uh. but authorities say Mr. Channon was already dead by the time they reached him. Firefighters were called in the next day to dismantle the machine and remove his body. Hugo Channon worked for DCS Sanitation Management, which was hired to clean the machinery in the meat processing plant. No one is certain how Channon fell in, but an investigation by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration concluded that a coupling connecting two hoses may have switched the machine on while Mr. Channon was spraying it with hot water. They then theorized that part of the hose got caught on a mixing bar and slowly pulled Hugo Channon in feet first due to the hose being wrapped around his body. A state medical examiner said Channon died from blunt force injuries and chopping wounds. 
During the investigation, other DCS sanitation management employees were observed with hoses wrapped around their bodies as they worked. The Health Administration fined DCS Sanitation $6,300 and Interstate Meats $450 for safety violations. Health Administration inspectors had cited Interstate Meat in October 2012 after finding that machinery in the meat grinding room wasn't properly locked down during cleaning. One inspector said, an unexpected startup of the machine could cause injuries. Hugo's family filed a $5 million lawsuit against interstate Good. meat distributors for failing to uphold their safety regulations. Well? Well? Did they get it? A man seen dumping a liquid into a pool? Ah, oh, man. I know why he did this shit. Come on, bruh. I remember this. I remember that story. Ah, shit. What the fuck? There's been a pair of ragged claws scuttling across the floors of silent seas. And the afternoon, the evening, sleep so peacefully. <laughs> Someone said, Dante, what is this? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> long fingers, asleep, tired, or it malingers, stretched out on the floor here beside you and me. Should I, after tea and cakes, and Isis have the strength to force the moment to its crisis. But though I have wept and fasted, wept and prayed, though I have seen my head grown slightly bald. I think I've seen this movie before, but I have no idea what it's called. I am no prophet, and here's no great matter. What I have follows? Seen the moment of my greatness flicker. It follows. And I have seen the eternal Yeah, I've seen this. I hold my coat and snicker. Yep, yep, and I remember this. I was afraid. And would it have been worth it after all? After the cups, the marmalade, the tea, among the porcelain, among some talk of you and me, would it have been worth it to have bitten off the matter with a smile, to have squeezed the universe into a ball, to roll it towards some overwhelming question to say i am lazarus come from the dead come back to tell you all i shall tell you all if one settling a pillow by her head should say that is why would you leave a like a public all. area though like you're that around a whole bunch of people at all so like even if an old nigga was coming up to you like why would you why would you leave away from that then to go to a secluded hallway and why walk in the middle of a conversation? Like, walk around them. That's that main character type shit. Whose man's is this? Hello? Hello? No one can see it but her. Oh, I forgot about that. Cause I was about to say he just walked through their conversation too, and they didn't even look. They didn't even look around, bro. If she don't just box him.
damn that's gotta suck though like then you now you just seem crazy now you just seem crazy and they gonna put you in a you know they gonna put you in an insane asylum bro they gonna put you in an insane asylum